that we had a third party uh, testing agency um, here in BC that we utilize for all of our on-site concrete tests. Um, and they, they, they gave us a hand putting together the actual thermal control plan. And they were the ones that recommended uh, Smart Rock to use on this project. So again, when we did that test block, they brought some, they gave us the, the kind of highlights, high level information on it, um, download the app and get, get familiar with it. And once we've seen how well it worked um, and the benefits from it, we decided to, to pursue uh, using Smart Rock um, for, for the duration of this project for all of our mass concrete. It's another kind of benefit to the Smart Rock sensor was um, when we poured a, a slab or a wall in this case, um, they, the next day we come and crack the bolts in the formwork and we, that's when we start our wet cure. Um, so we put the, the, the soaker hoses on the top of the wall. The formwork's still on the wall, so it's just we put introduced water on the top and it kind of cascades down. But with the, and this was like January, February when we were doing this particular wall. And because of the wet curing, it dramatically was dropping our top sensor, which was put getting ready to push us out of that max differential. So again, having those sensors, being able to see that the top was cooling down significantly, we were able to be like, okay, turn the water off. Got to get the heat back onto this. We got to maintain the 20 degrees. So it was refreshing to know that I was going to be able to monitor concrete temperatures live. That was the big thing for me. Cause again, my past experiences with products that didn't, you, you couldn't get it from the source. You had to disconnect it, take it to a trailer. And then if I remember correctly, you couldn't plug it back in. Like once you disconnected the thermal couples, like it was terminated. So I think that was a big problem, meaning like you couldn't disconnect it until your 10 days or however long it may be um, of the concrete to go through its hydration period. And once you get the data, you realize it's too late. You know what I mean? You weren't able to act on it. So I was, I was pleased to see that uh, we were getting live updates at any time you want. Um, and, and also the, the use of, of mobile phone um, on the site too, right? Everyone has a cell phone these days. So um, it was, it was good to know that that's all I needed. Just put the, the sensors in, into the, into the wall or the slab and have the app on my phone and have everything I need to be able to monitor 